This is Richard Wolf for Democracy at Work, responding to another Ask Prof. Wolf question from our Patreon community. This one comes from Tom Hall. Tom says he's been looking at uh, Robert Reich's book, uh, Saving Capitalism, or I believe that's the title, I don't want to be unfair, um, and he wonders what my response is uh, to the argument that uh, Professor Reich makes in that book. So here goes briefly, but I hope to the point. Robert Reich, like many other liberal or left liberal thinkers in America and beyond, wants to save capitalism because he believes the kind of capitalism we have uh, is misguided, unfortunate, wrong-headed, but changeable, fixable. Uh, he refers to the kind of capitalism we have, very critically, by the way, as laissez-faire capitalism, capitalism where the government doesn't intervene to control, to manage, to regulate, to limit how the system works. Uh, he also criticizes to contemporary capitalism for the big businesses that dominate it, and he refers, as many do, to something called crony capitalism, where the big shots, the big CEOs, help each other to stay on top of a system that they dominate. And he wants to fix that. He wants to take the system away from the cronies and to reintroduce a healthy dose of regulation that would make capitalism less unequal than it is, less unstable with business cycle crashes than it is, and all around less unjust and less harsh than it is. Robert Reich is in a long line of people with that perspective. They are the fixers. They're going to fix capitalism, make it work as it somehow they think should work, would work, might work, if only it were properly managed. Where the laissez-faire libertarian types think that properly managed capitalism is unmanaged capitalism with no government to intrude its management on the system, Robert Reich has kind of the opposite view. You might call it the New Deal Rooseveltian view, that capitalism left to itself has got a lot of wrong things that happen, and so you need the government to get what's good out of capitalism but repress and block what isn't. Well, you know, I might have been willing to go along with such an idea a hundred years ago when capitalism was still relatively young. I might have been able, even willing, 50 years ago. But I'm not anymore. And the reason is simple. Efforts like Robert Reich's to get out of the bad kind of capitalism and get us over into what he sees as the good kind haven't worked out real well. Look around us now. We have greater inequality than we did 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Capitalism isn't moving us towards more equality. It's doing exactly the opposite. What about stability? Well, I would answer, we've had three crashes in the first 20 years of this century's capitalism. The dot-com crash in 2000, the subprime mortgage crash in 2008, and the COVID-19 crash, so-called, right now. This system is very unstable. And if you have really bad luck, like we do, we have a very bad virus pandemic on top of our capitalist system's latest, and one of its worst, crashes. So I'm not persuaded that fixing it is a viable strategy. The people who fixed it after the great crash of the 1929-30s, the Great Depression, the people who fixed it then, their fixes came undone. No sooner was 
Franklin Roosevelt in his grave and World War II over. Then the business community, the capitalists, took over the government and rammed through the undoing of the New Deal. All those fixits, the kind that Robert Rice's book advocates, were undone. They weren't secure. And you know why they weren't secure? Because fixing capitalism isn't enough. It's time to get rid of this system. It doesn't work. Even when, after much struggle, you can make a few fix-it adjustments, like Robert Reich wants, and like we did as a nation in the 1930s. Even if you struggle long and hard, and even if you win, the system leaves the power and the profits in the hands of the capitalists who use their position and use those profits to undo whatever fix-it the mass of people has been able to achieve. My view, we've worked real hard to fix capitalism over and over again. And either we fail to fix it, or the fix-its, when we succeeded, were undone, because capitalism is a system that undoes the very fix it that the mass of people impose on it. We've been there, the fix-it game. We've done that. We're not going to do it again. I think you have to realize, after all of our experiments with the fix-its and the undoing of the fix-its, that we're not going down that road anymore. We have to change the system so there isn't a group of capitalists who own and operate the economy, who are in a position to undo the fix-it efforts. You want the fix-it to stick, to survive, to become the new normal, the new reality, then you have to make sure that there isn't a powerful organized group called employers who have the resources, because they get the profits, to undo every fix-it you achieve. And the solution? Change business enterprises from top-down, undemocratic, small groups who run the business into worker co-ops. Democratic, one person, one vote, everybody together decides. Then you will have a system that can find its flaws, fix them, and there's nobody to undo it. That's where I disagree with Robert Reich. Don't ask us once again to go into the fray, to struggle, to fix an economy, only to watch yet again as an unchanged capitalist organization of enterprises undoes whatever fix-its we achieve. This is Richard Wolff for Democracy at Work, responding to another Ask Prof. Wolf question.